Hey everybody, I wanted to take you through a little bit of a exploratory uh, expedition on looking at what other people are doing with video on LinkedIn. Uh, so you can get a better sense of what kind of style feels appropriate for you, what kind of effort, what kind of money, what kind of time you feel like putting behind creating a look and to ideally do something sustainable. So uh, I got a bunch of examples here I wanna go through with you. So check this one out. This is uh, some interesting storytelling Market better here. challenges me to make so this is uh i would say more of like a millennial style uh gen z style uh rather and uh, a lot of effort has gone into this to have some quick clips and creative uh, execution with lighting there and with some graphics different angles uh really talking to the camera so while this might have been shot on like an iphone they definitely uh put some work into it so this one uh, is interesting because I would say the camera and the lighting, maybe not that great, but they've done a lot with the, the graphics in the background, as you can see. He's clearly got a good mic there, so he's put some effort into it. And there's a weird, like, uh, you can see in the background, there looks like the corner of his room or something. So there's some transparency there, but then over here, not so much. So it's kind of interesting. This one took a lot of effort, clearly. Um, Let's look at this one. Uh, a guy I know, he basically does this all the time and, and he's got like a good mic setup. It sounds really good. Um, he's put some work into having the camera and the lighting and he probably does some post-processing and like color correction and stuff like that. And then the background, those are just some Macs with their screen savers on moving around. So it gives you a little bit of visual interest in some color. So I think that's good. And then you'll notice there's no editing really happening. So um, you'd save time on editing if you just did an approach like this. Lee Judge, let's check him out. He is a, a video production uh, company that uh, does a lot of stuff with Content Marketing Institute. So he's put a little bit more effort here into the editing and uh, ways to mix it up, keep it interesting. He's got a nice mic there too, pretty well lit. Looks like he's doing some, um, some green screen action there. Here's something I put out there. You might look at that guy and see he's familiar. There's a little bit more editing, but not a ton. Just allows it to mix up so it's not just me talking the whole time, but you see me a lot. Some graphics, give it some pizzazz, a little B-roll. Let's look at another example here. This is no editing, just talking to camera, some hand talking. He's got kind of a low angle, gives him a little bit of like authority. I guess there was a little editing, but it's mostly just him. Stylized subtitles. Let's check out this guy. He um, is using a nicer camera, probably like a DSLR with a good lens. And he's doing an interesting style here. It looks like he's in an interview, but I'll bet you anything. He's just uh, he's just talking to the room, but it does have that interview-like style. So it looks like you're just pulling one person out of a two-person interview so approach. And this is you know, just shot in his uh, his editing office. This is a uh, social media trick here, holding the microphone. Um, you know, it's kind of a Gen Z millennial thing and it gives it a little bit more of a, um, that's a little more dynamic. He's really looking into the camera and he's got, uh, some, some lights up there. He's, he's done a little bit and I know he, he's got a big, uh, big fill light in there as well. This one is... This one's uh, interesting, um, pretty casual. You know, the guy's got uh, you know the beard and the hat, just kind of looks like he's just a guy. <laughs> he's not trying to rock a business look necessarily, although I'd say this is my business look too. So um, just one way to go about it. Um, you know, he's added some editing there, a little visual interest, keep it moving, some hand talking. Rand Fishkin, pretty popular guy in the uh, content marketing world. He's got some uh, great stuff with his five-minute whiteboards. Sort of and, engineering, uh, getting all the data, building the. Pro 
this is sort of just a video podcast format. But, you know, he's got some nice lighting, interesting stuff in the background, but pretty simple, pretty basic. This obviously, he's got a podcaster mic and some headphones, so it's a little bit, visually it sends a different message. Let's check out. This one is uh, very much a sort of uh, influencer creator handheld vibe with the holding the microphone in your hand. She's got a couple different angles she cuts to keep it a little more interesting, some hand talking. But pretty straightforward. And then one thing I would leave out is got a the couple different will show you how to build shots, a little B roll. Use right after the web. And do immediately the CT. Clay, you may have heard of. They're doing some interesting stuff. She's got a podcaster mic, interesting on brand background. Uh, looks like it's shot in a room with a desk. They've clearly got some lighting here on her face, but it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Looks like she's reading a teleprompter. You can kind of see her eyes look like it's a little bit to the right of screen. Then let's look at, I like this one. This is really straightforward uh, jellyfish. He's just in his, uh, you know, looks like his office standing probably. Um, some visual interest, pretty simple, but I don't know, just kind of clean and honest. A little bit of depth, having that wall right there next to it gives it uh, some depth to the image. Well lit, but pretty straightforward. Let's check out this one. This one, um, very basic, but not in a bad way. It's just, uh, Cool. Plant. And that's the pet. <laughs> Plant, window, wall, person, right? Added some graphics though, and um, the screenshot here to give it a little bit more, um, more excitement and kind of explain uh, what she's talking about visually. So, nice way to spice things up. Then I thought this one was interesting too. This is kind of a split screen model. Uh, where the person is on the bottom and the B-roll is on the top. And you can see this, obviously, with two people having an interview, you see this a lot as well. Got the captions right there in the middle. And, you know, she's just doing the shot in the office kind of thing. But I think with the B-roll up top, that keeps it moving. So that's all I got for you right now. Uh, reach out if you want to talk about it.